Well, uh, my father was a club cricketer, um, not top, not necessarily top class club cricket in the Midlands, but a decent, decent standard. And uh, when he played, I would go along with him and all the other sons would be there, be there. And uh, we would have our own cricket match. Uh, and we would have that on the side and we used our dad's bat and our, our pads, which were much too big for us because I wasn't very old at that stage. And we'd have our own cricket match. And at, uh, at Barrows Lane, the cooperative, the Birmingham Co-op my father played for at Barrows Lane, the groundsman would come along on his bike and say, and I always remember him, Fred Pitt, he'd say, you can't play cricket. I'm so sorry, you're going to have to go, go, go somewhere else. And he used to shove us around the ground. And we'd, go and, we'd go and play in another place. But eventually we'd have our game of cricket. And... Uh, and my father was very enthusiastic. I scored runs for the school and uh, um, I, I was lucky in as much my father worked for his brother who, who owned the tyre business, tyre distributors that uh, we had in the Midlands, quite a few depots. And uh, uh, they both said to me, look, when the offer came to play for Warwickshire at the age of 15, uh, they said, look, go for it. If, you, if it doesn't work out, you can always come back back into the business. And uh, so for the next few years, while I was playing cricket for Warwickshire during the summer, I worked in that business and I went through every department every winter and uh, made my way. I mean, my first job at the age of 15 were, in the winter was, um, they put me in the, in repairing inner tubes from the Birmingham Salvage Department and uh, at Birmingham. And uh, we'd go and pick the inner tubes up and I'd bring them back. And I had to break the ice in the big tank with water in it to put the inner tubes in then break the ice in the winter and then uh, blow up the inner tube, put the inner tubes in the water, find where the puncture was and repair the puncture. And I went, anyway, I went right through the business. I enjoyed that. It was really good for me to get some, uh, uh, some business experience. And of course I made my way in the game during, during that time, but it was difficult to, to break through in that Warwickshire side. We had a really good uh, batting lineup for people like Hoare and Gardner and um, Hitchcock and MJK Smith. Um, and they were doing pretty well. So the only time I could play first team cricket um, was when MJK went off to, to play in the test matches, of course. And of course, when he came back from the test matches, as I would go, and uh, so I'd play uh, a couple of games there, maybe half a dozen games during the season while MJK was away. But we were very lucky in the second team. We played so much cricket. I mean, we had minor counties competition. We had a second 11 competition. We had... Um, the uh, Warwickshire uh, uh, youth side that played on Saturdays. I played in the Birmingham League. And if uh, clubs would rang up during the week because the, they, they played club cricket in, in Wednesdays, in those days, um, they, they would, short of a player, I would always play. There was Alton. I can remember going and playing for Alton on many occasions. I would always want to play because it was so important to get middle experience. It counted more than, more than the Nets, but obviously I worked hard in the Nets as well. I can remember also getting an invite from uh, Aston Manor Cricket Club, and I scored a naught, and they never invited me back again. 